Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I have an E-Post mower, the, uh, basically the chassis of it right here on the bench. And uh, this is one of the first generation E-Post mowers, not to get confused with the new IQ series or anything else out there. Um, this one's actually a 550 E-Post. So this would be the same as what your uh, 450X E-Post, your 450XH E-Post, your 520 E-Post, 520H E-Post. Uh, 550 E post and 550 H E post mowers will look like without the body and stuff on there. And the reason why I have this one here is because I want to talk to you about a common issue that we were seeing with the E post mowers that became uh, pretty clear towards the end of the summer last year that uh, was something that that we really need to to point out and talk about <clears throat> and make everybody that has an E post mower aware of. And um, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where you know, anything out there, any piece of equipment from any any brand, any manufacturer um, is going to have a problem. You know, none of them are going to run completely problem free and error free and issue free for their entire life. Obviously, if they did, um, you know, they they would never die. <laughs> they would just keep going forever. Uh, the, the key to it is figuring out what the issues are and making owners aware of it. And that way you can maintain them properly and extend the life of them and keep going. And that's what we're going to do here in this video. Um, so we we had some that had some weird errors. Uh, we had some circuit board issues. We had some corrosion issues and stuff like that. And here in Pennsylvania, we had a drought. I mean, there was no way that anything was out in the rain or getting flooded out. We had a horrible drought. We had high, high temperatures. Um, we had a lot of humidity and stuff like that. And... Um, after after we ran this with a couple mowers, we started to realize there was a common issue there. Can't say for sure that that's 100% what was causing these issues, but it's something, again, that we got to point out to make you aware of so that you can handle this and it won't lead to possible bigger issues because it's really simple. Um, and what we're talking about is the chassis air filter on these mowers. Now, if you're familiar with the, uh, the regular 450s and 430s and, and that, uh, you've probably seen our videos where the chassis air filter is up front here. Actually, got one here, an upper chassis. You take the nose piece off up here and the hinge piece for your hatch, and there is your chassis air filter. That's what I'm talking about. That's what allows the cool air to get in there to cool the chassis, lets the hot air get out of the chassis, uh, helps keep everything working the way it should. On the E-Post mowers, Obviously, they can't have it up there. They moved it. So if you're not aware of this, if you didn't watch our video about the maintenance kits, uh, the chassis air filter on the E-Post mowers on these first generation ones is actually here under the stop button. You have to take the three screws out and you take this cover piece off, and there it is. And this is where we've discovered that there is a, a big issue um, that you're going to want to take care of this more often than just once a season. Pull this one off and show you. That's what we got going on here. We get all this dirt and debris building up here, and back here, you can barely even see it, is our chassis air filter. This was not even one full season, and it looks like that. This old 450X, <laughs> that was out there running for two seasons. And you can see, you know, look how clean that chassis filter is. Yeah, it's got some dirt on it, but you can actually tell what it is, and it's white, where this completely covered up and again you know it wasn't like there was a lot of rain or moisture or anything like that uh just the dirt and debris gets built up under there so uh more than once a season you need to take this cover off and just blow that stuff out of there so it doesn't keep just rattling around and, and turning to dust and clogging up that filter now that was on one like i said was from down in florida here's one this is the upper chassis uh, from one here in Pennsylvania that we had some issues with. And you can see that it's not all that much better. There's the chassis air filter back there. You can see this is all plugged full of a bunch of crap in here. And um, it's, it's something that definitely needs to be addressed. So we have these chassis filters in stock. You can order them right from our website. Uh, if you're not sure what you're looking for, just go down in the description uh, of this video. You'll see a link down there. You can click on that, get right to our website, order you one. Also, we have the maintenance kits available where you can get the chassis filter. You can get the uh, ceiling strip for around the chassis. 
Um, you can get the uh, the rubber the rubber boot, the bellows for the cutting system, and uh, some front tires because uh, <laughs> I'm talking about all that. So if you order you order a maintenance kit that works with the e-post mowers, you'll get the chassis filter, right? Because obviously you're gonna need one. You will get a new bellows, which is this rubber boot down here uh, on the cutting system. They say to replace that about every three years. So you might not need that, but it doesn't hurt to replace it. And if you're going to be replacing that, that's when you need to split the chassis open and you get that seal in our maintenance kit that goes the whole way around here to seal this up. And like I said, you'll get front tires where you can see on this e-post mower here, the front wheels, the front tires are worn out. They're not sealing. They're not... They're not touching the edges there. They're not touching the actual plastic wheel. So this is a perfect candidate for something like that. But again, the big thing is we just wanted to warn you about these, about these building up dirt and debris under there, clogging that filter, um, trapping the heat inside the mower on the hot days, trapping that humidity in there. Uh, you know, you, you start to get this thing hot on the inside. It's a little bit cooler on the outside. You get the condensation build up. That's what starts corrosion on your circuit boards. So there's a lot of things this is going to affect. You know, this is, it, it, it's a simple, small little paper filter. Uh, you know, you just peel that one off, stick the new one on there. Real simple, but it can cause a lot of issues. So now that you're aware of that, make sure that you look into that. Make sure you take care of that. If you're a dealer out there, don't skip over that. Make sure you definitely take care of that on one of these e-post mowers. And again, you want to check that a couple times a year. Honestly, uh, you know, every time you're changing the blades, I would just pop that cover off of there, the three screws, take that right off of there, and blow that out. Make sure that's nice and clean. If you see it's getting to be like this, just replace it. You know, for a couple bucks uh, to replace that filter, even if it's a couple times a season, still way cheaper than labor and main boards and wheel motors and whatever else might burn up out there in the heat because the heat can't get out of the machine. So... That's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Check out our website, www.roboticmotorservices.com. And we'll be talking to you again soon.